okay dear students let us see what is there in this question the graph shows the variation with position s of the displacement x of a wave undergoing simple harmonic motion fine so uh, what is the magnitude of the velocity at the displacement x y and z so my dear students first of all we must learn this thing that whenever there is a graph we must be able to clarify this thing to ourselves like what is depicted in the graph so there are two kind of graphs possible now one is this like here you would be having displacement in both of the graphs but on the x-axis you might have time but here you have s and they have written that s is the position of the particles so basically this is literally a wave but this graph would be pertaining to the simple harmonic motion as done by one particular particle so this graph if, if this graph would also be looking similar like sine wave or cos wave or negative sine negative cos whatever it might look similar to the graph shown in the question paper but because the x-axis is t we come to this conclusion that this graph is pertaining to one particle but here the first thing that should come to our mind is that on the x-axis we have position we do not have time so the position is variable so it means we are all talking about different particles like x is a different particle y is a different particle z is a different particle but in this case when the x-axis is t we're talking about only one particle and we're talking about its position with respect to time t so we are talking only and only about x and x is moving up and down up and down and up and down so this graph will come uh, will will be created with respect to time anyway so this much is for the background concepts and the explanation let us now think about the question so now we are sure that yes they are actually talking about a wave you can just imagine a string a string a very uh, long string and we are just moving the string around so this string is moving like this so if this string is moving so x becomes the extreme position obviously at the extreme position the velocity will be zero and at this position these are the two mean positions and the velocity at the mean position will be maximum in the case of SHM. So it's very, very clear and straightforward that at the point Y and Z, the velocities will be maximum and at X, the velocity will be zero. So this is a simple question and this is how we will do it, my dear students. So this is Professor Varun. Let us verify the answer from the mark scheme also once and then we say goodbye. Yes, the answer is P and this is where we say goodbye. All the best.